Greetings from Diazonic Labs. My name is Amir and welcome back to my channel. We know that when we are creating a deep learning model, the training takes a lot of time and all you can just do is sit in front of the laptop or the computer watching it get completed. And I know that's a pretty boring task to do. Now imagine this. What if you can monitor that particular thing remotely on your mobile and also get a notification when the model training is completed? How cool will that be? Well, your wish now could be fulfilled with the usage of a Python library called TensorDash. In this episode, let us learn about TensorDash library. Watch the video till the end to understand how to use TensorDash library in our deep learning projects. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do consider subscribing it and also press the bell icon to get the notification of our latest videos. We bring to you quality content related to technology. The subscribe button is given at the bottom right corner of the video. So let's go ahead with the video. First of all, what exactly is TensorDash? TensorDash is an application that lets you remotely monitor your deep learning models and metrics and notifies you when the model training is completed. Okay, now let's see how we can use TensorDash in our deep learning application. I will open Google Chrome and the first thing what I'm going to do is I will write here say TensorDash. Okay, and this will open up the page for me wherein TensorDash uh, related information is actually given. This is the official GitHub page of TensorDash. All right, so let's go inside this and you should be able to see uh, how we can install this particular package and all of it. All right, uh, there's one more link here which says go to documents. So let us go inside this documents and this will actually help us to, you know, uh, understand how we can use this tensor board, how we can install it and how we can actually use it in our uh, deep learning project. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I will take one specific deep learning project. Let me just type here, say tensor flow. Let me just go to tensor flow, say a uh, tutorial. I will use one of the ready made already available tutorial of TensorFlow and I will show you how we can use uh, how we can put the tensor dash uh, say library inside it and how we can use it. All right. So for this, I will take something uh, which will actually go on for a longer time. So let me go to say images and let me check uh, CNN. Okay, I don't want CNN. I'll go to say data augmentation and let me scroll down. Okay, yeah. let's go ahead with this particular uh, say program. So I will run it in Google Colab. Let me just open it and this will help me run it in Google Colab window. All right, so let's wait for a while. And this should be open for now. Okay, so now what we will do is uh, let me just close this table of content and you can see here the let me just start connecting here. The uh, libraries are imported here. Then we are downloading the data set. The data set which we are using is TF flowers. So basically it contains lots of flowers. Uh, we have got tulips, uh, sunflower, sunflower, then roses. Uh, then we have got dandelion, right? So we have got a lot of flowers. This is actually a flower data set wherein you can use it for classification. Now uh, we are using some sort of, you know, data documentation so that we get more and more of the data from the original images, whatever we have. So I'll just import all of these libraries and let me come down. I'll show you where exactly you need to actually put the tensor dash uh, say library also where we should import this. So I'm going to just scroll down. This one is just doing the pre-processing thing, whatever resizing, rescaling, everything will be considered here. Let me just scroll down and also now the uh, time comes for data augmentation. As I've told you, some sort of, you know, horizontal and vertical flipping will be done for this particular thing. And after that is done, the new uh, say images will be displayed. So let me just scroll down here. I will go to the place where actually my model is, uh, you know, train where uh, where is that particular cell where the model training happens so i'm searching for that let me just scroll down so here it says train a model right train a model and then we have got model.compile okay now till here model.compile the code will remain same now the next code what we need to add is in this particular cell all right i'll just click on code here and i will go back to say the 
github uh, page of uh, you know tensor dash the documents page and first of all how we can install this package so here it says normally we can just use pip install tensor dash i'll copy this and let me paste it here all right let me paste it here and i will give say exclamatory and let me run this okay so once i run this uh, it will tell that successfully installed tensor dash okay now once it has been installed we need to write one single uh, piece of code let me just go back to this again and i will go to say how to use column here and if you see uh, you will have one option called as specify model name and email address all right so i will take this particular thing let me just copy here and let me paste it inside this particular cell okay so now here there uh, we are importing tensor dash uh, say library and then we are creating a variable by the name of histories and inside that we have got a method named tensor dash so it contains two parameters one is model name and one more is email id right so first here model name i'll just uh, specify here say flowers okay and then email id now the problem with this email id is you need to specify the exact same email id which you do with your app all right so uh, let me just open up my mobile phone and i'll show you how we can uh, go ahead with this so i have got here already the app installed okay let me just open this i'll see you know make this smaller and keep it on this side all right so if i go to say play store here uh, let me just go to play store here and let me search for say tensor dash okay tensor dash is already here so i've already installed here when i click on open right uh since i've already installed and i have already signed up but when i click on open for the first time right it will ask you for signing up and all of it now i have already signed inside my account okay and i have used uh, my email id for doing so all right and now it says no project present now the email id what i have used to sign up here should be used here okay it should be the same email id so i will write here say diazonic labs this is the email id which i have used all right and now after this when i run this particular cell right it will ask me one specific password okay i have given one password when i had actually signed up for the tensor dash uh, app okay for the first time i have actually signed up so i will have to give that same password okay let me press enter and once i press enter right uh, it is taken into consideration all right and now uh, we have given here epochs as 5 okay and the history whatever uh, the variable which we are taking for history here we are actually fitting our model where in the train value is given along with the validation value all right now here after the epochs i will be actually using one specific parameter called as callbacks all right so i will use here callbacks and inside this i have to give the same uh, say variable which i had used actually to create tensor dash object all right so let me just copy this histories and let me paste it here okay now the moment i paste this histories uh, value here i can run this particular cell all right let me run this cell and you should be able to see immediately in my mobile phone flowers uh, say project name is actually appearing and the notification or the status bar of this particular thing is running so now it is it has started to run all right for now the epoch is zero let me just refresh this okay it is still zero once the epoch is completed right you will be able to see that uh, epoch will be one and then accuracy how much ever is the accuracy so let me just run this you should be able to see here one epoch completed accuracy is 47 percent and then loss is 1.24 if i go inside this you should be able to see the graph here okay for the first epoch obviously you can't see anything but then see here two epochs have been completed you can see here loss chart then you have got accuracy chart then you have got validation loss we have got validation accuracy right four graphs are actually given here and this whatever you are doing it is completely happening in the real time three epochs have been completed 62 percent accuracy all right loss is uh, 0.94 loss is decreasing actually here and the accuracy is increasing right this is what we need to uh, actually see in our deep learning model so everything is happening here the metrics is completely given completely specified uh, 
so right now four epochs have been completed and uh, the fifth epoch is actually running and after that fifth epoch is completed you should be able to see that uh, it says five epochs completed loss is again decreasing accuracy is increasing uh, validation loss is decreasing and validation accuracy is increasing and then slowly uh, it is decreasing okay so now we could see all of the metric given here if you go back inside this it says let me just refresh this it says the model training has been completed all right so yes this is how we actually check the uh, say training in real time all right now the reason why i have taken this particular data set is because i wanted to work on something simple so that i could show in front of you how exactly this particular thing is working and after that you can go on with a, with your code rest as it is all right so everything else will be remaining the same okay uh, so the main point of discussion in this particular uh, episode was for you to actually uh, know how you can use tensor dash in our project so i hope you have understood how this tensor dash works Yes, that was about the tensor dash, right? So if you have liked our video, please do consider subscribing it and please let us know if you have any doubts regarding the same so that we can actually clarify it.